I recently read an article in The Atlantic entitled, When Kids Realize Their Whole Life Is Already Online, that really hit home. Googling ourselves has become a rite of passage. In my own circle of family and friends, Instagram and Facebook are primarily used for sharing pictures of our kids. And I have to admit, I have not fully thought through the possible consequences of posting pictures of my children without their knowledge or consent. Anything that I share could very well follow them into adulthood. The Atlantic article that I referenced recounts the experience of an 11-year-old girl who does not have her own social media accounts the first time she Googles herself. To her surprise, she found swim scores and stats spanning several years, even a personal story that she had written in the third grade with her name attached to it. She says, no matter what you do, it's out there for people to know. My meet records are out there. Now people know I'm a swimmer. The internet tells you where all the swim meets are, so that would probably tell my general location. It tells you my school. Parts of my story online were in Spanish. Now people know I speak Spanish. Even though she didn't discover anything necessarily negative, a public narrative was being formed about her on the web for anyone to see without her knowledge and consent. It's our responsibility as parents to ask questions and understand the policies that our kids' schools, clubs, and organizations have in place surrounding information sharing. Most importantly, it's our job to talk with our kids and help them understand the type of information being shared and gauge their comfort level with it. Parenting in a digital world is still a new frontier for everyone. And as we all continue to navigate through the challenges, it's important to remember that anything we share online can live on indefinitely. I'd like to leave you with these three tips. One, ask the organizations your kids are involved with what they share online. If they don't have policies in place to deal with the information sharing, then raise the issue with the organization leaders. Two, set ground rules for yourself. Think about the consequences of posting a specific photo of your child online. And if they're old enough, then ask for their permission before doing so. After all, something we may think is cute could be embarrassing for them either now or down the road. Three, I strongly suggest keeping your accounts private to limit who has access to the information you post. However, always keep in mind that anything you share online still has the potential to become public. Sometimes the privacy settings on our accounts can give us a false sense of security.